I think AAPI Heritage Month really reminds us that we belong. AAPI Heritage Month really serves as this moment for our community to shine a light on the excellence, but also the tragedies, the difficult topics. And I'm so grateful that we do have this month um, because honestly, it's one of my favorite times of the year. Um, I get to see people and we get to be together in solidarity. As someone who has broken barriers and created significant change, how can AAPI Heritage Month inspire and empower the next generation of Asian American activists to tackle the unique challenges faced by your communities? I think AAPI Heritage Month really reminds us that we belong. You know, there is a real stereotype, it's called the perpetual foreigner stereotype, where people keep asking members of our community, you know, where are you really from? You know, it's a very common uh, microaggression that we experience. And even though it seems micro, at the heart of it, it's a huge thing that we don't belong here. And I think that this month, especially, we get to say, here's who we are, and we get to build that empathy. And I think the opposite of hate isn't actually um, love. I think the opposite of love is um, inaction. And empathy is really the solution to get people to understand our heritage. Maybe our food looks different. Maybe we have different stories. But at the end of the day, we are still together as a part of this fabric of America. AAPI Heritage Month is a time to celebrate the diverse cultures and histories within the AAPI community. How do you infuse your own heritage and experiences into your work at RISE, specifically in supporting survivors from Asian American and Pacific Islander backgrounds? Yes, well, the statistics there, unfortunately, tell a difficult story about uh, the gender-based violence that Asian American women face in this country. You know, um, in some statistics, like AAPI Women Lead, up to 60% of women in the AAPI community are survivors of domestic and sexual violence. That's an enormous number. Um, in the recent Stop AAPI Hate uh, report, they said that 78% um, of the attacks that were reported were by AAPI women um, in the past two years during the rise of anti-Asian heat. Uh, so what we're seeing is that these numbers don't lie. The um, gender-based violence and the intersection of race and gender is very apparent within um, the community. And so what I do at RISE is we specifically focus on giving safe spaces for API women. We have a program at RISE, it's called Survivor Safe Haven, um, where a network of local businesses will have a flyer and if a survivor uh, wants to get help, they can go in, they can say the code word that's on the flyer and they'll be able to get a safe place within that facility to call um, the hotline and walk through what their options are. And uh, our goal is to have all 50 plus Chinatowns in the United States um, have survivor safe havens in them.